My whole goal is to be the champ of the world, and, and that day will come. I wake up around 5.30, I ride my horse in the morning, then I go to Antonio's, uh, the body shop, work my MMA, and then I'll go to Freddie Roach's gym, do some boxing. I'll come home and relax a little bit, do some stretch, maybe get a massage, and then I'll go back to Antonio's at night. If I called Antonio at 2 in the morning and said, hey, coach, can you train? He would be there. So that, having a coach like that is, is what you need to become a world champion, and, and you can see it through all his fighters. All his fighters are winning. So. Every time I'm in there, I'm always like, wow, I'm actually in wild card with Freddie Roach. Him actually coaching me is kind of, kind of crazy. I think he's a very open-minded coach, and I think that's why he's so successful. A lot of high-level boxers, I mean, the best in the world from all over, they all come to Hollywood with, to wild cards. So I get all kinds of crazy sparring, you know, with Miguel Cotto, with all these guys that are fighting on television that I've watched since I was a kid, and to actually be in there and actually spar with them and help them get ready for fights. The whole atmosphere is a really cool one. I mean, we all push each other, but we all know what the most important thing is, and that's not get hurt. We're all looking out for each other. And we're a family. It's like a dream. I always think of myself as an underdog. I mean, having that mentality when you go into practice of having something to prove is what keeps you sharp, I believe. Hard work is always gonna prevail, so even when I'm the champ of the world, there's that next guy that really is under, is working hard, as hard as he can to beat you, so there's nothing uh, to, to trash talk. If you go out there and you just knock somebody out cold, it speaks for itself. My coach Antonio and I were, were working on that hook actually a long time, I mean, started training with him and, and he saw my hook, how short it was, and he's always telling me like, hey, you're gonna keep your hook up, keep it long, and, and for me to actually go out there and do it and get my first win like that, it was, uh, I couldn't sleep for like two days, to be honest with you. Not a lot of people get their, their true calling, and my life is good being a fighter.